New functionality in PowerShape 2015R2 has been added so we can morph items to either a point cloud or mesh. Here I have a press tool and blanked I have a scanned mesh of the press tool. So you can see here that my part that I've scanned has got spring back and so therefore we need to adjust our CAD model to compensate for this. We can do this using the new Morph to Mesh or Point Cloud feature. In General Edits, underneath the Morph Items, we have this new icon, Morph Items to Point Cloud or Mesh. I can select this and it prompts me to select the Mesh or Point Cloud to Morph to. I'm going to select my scanned triangle mesh of my press part and then I'm prompted to select my solid or services to morph from. I'm going to select my green solid like so. We have some options here. I can morph my CAD away from the cloud or mesh so that's going to compensate for the spring back. I can also keep both so I can keep the morphed CAD solid and the original to compare them both, which is what I'm going to do here. The resolution shown here, the higher up you have this resolution, the more accurate your results, but the lower you have it, the quicker the results. We can change the strength of the spring back as well. If I change my strength to 200%, it will morph my CAD double the amount away from the original. If I put in 50% it will morph my solid only half as much away from my original. I'm going to keep it at 100% and hit preview. If you are happy with your previewed result Hit OK and your new solid will be created. I will now change the colour of the solid I just created in order so we can see the difference. So I've changed it to cyan there. Hide my green solid which is my original. Hide my mesh if I want to. Here is my new CAD model in order to create my press tool from.